All right, here we are at our next piece. This is Turtle Down Totem by Gwendolyn Kearney, and it's outside of the Midtown Partners offices, um, just a, like a half block away from the Rococo Throne Museum. All right. So this piece is made out of welded steel, uh, and then it's been painted and layered in different ways. Um, so you can see, like here, uh, when when Emmy comes up closer, you'll be able to see this is just a welding piece. So this is just made from welding. Right. Yeah, so when you weld um, this joint together, this was all ground back, so you can't see it like raised up on the surface. Okay. But this is just them using um, like what they would call drawing a bead, literally using it as drawing in the sculpture. So that's kind of an exciting technique. Uh, there, you know, you can see it used throughout to add a little bit of texture to the face. Um, there's oh, a... Are these bigger beads? Are these bigger beads? Yeah, and you know, I'm thinking that it's welding, but it could be something else. It could be like even some other material instead of um, welding. It looks like welding to me though. Okay. And then um, up at the top, you can see like chains that are make up this very like flowy hairdo that we see up here. So do you want to talk about maybe the forms that you're seeing? Okay, so first thing I thought was water. Yeah. Like a woman in water because of the long hair and then you have Somehow fish here, and then on the heart you have a fish, and then this is a fish, and yes. then it's a turtle, so I'm yes. thinking water, maybe a love for water, because you put the heart mm. here. Yeah, that makes sense. With the, with the fish right in the middle. Um, and one other thing I noticed was, this looks like sheets of metal. Yes, To it create is. the, yes. the yeah. body of the turtle. And then the turtle's tail is a heart. So I'm seeing like a lot of love for water mm -hmm. in here and it's, you know, a heart in the mouth of the person at the top with the hair that I think looks like mine maybe. Mm -hmm. Wind is windy or something. Mm -hmm. um, a brisk wind. A very brisk wind. <laughs> very brisk wind. Yeah. Um, a seaside wind. But I'm seeing like love, water, fish. That's, yes. that's what yeah. I'm Seaside. Or maybe a lakeside. Yeah. Now, what I'm interested in is the artist and why she chose to name this structure what she did. So, the artist, white woman, right? Yes, we were white, just talking about it. Yes, yeah, yeah, white woman who named it a totem and, you know, we always have these appropriations and mm -hmm. different things and we have to be careful about how we call things things. Yeah. And so, I'd be interested as to why she called it or named it mm -hmm. this as opposed to something else. Yeah, I'm not sure. From what the art, the interviews uh, that students have already done so far, I didn't. I wasn't able to, see, to ascertain what, why she named it this. But I also found it. Oh, like even when we were doing it, I was a little. I was like, I'm a little concerned. So, you know, Mississippi. We're here. Yeah. Uh, where the Cherokee, the Choctaw, the Natchez were all displaced from their land and sent on the Trail of Tears. And like this is where they used to live, and this is the land that they used to steward before yeah. they were booted off of it. And so what does it say that also we're putting a totem on that land and totems aren't even in that culture um, of Native American art making. Totems are um, what I believe are Pacific Northwest tribes mainly make totems um, and they're normally made out of wood and they're normally very spiritual objects that express different histories and uh, different parts of that culture. Um, and so for me, I'm also wondering why she chose to call it totem instead of like staff or memory or just a sculpture, right? Because this doesn't necessarily have to be a totem. And you know what? It could have been she separated totem from totem. Yeah. Yeah. In her thought process. I, yeah. I mean, I don't know. But a totem in like language means something that you gravitate towards. Like yeah. your personal totems in like uh, yeah. the English language are like, this is my... Um, something that I gravitate towards, which I think leads back to the idea of water. One thing I did know about the artist's um, process is that she loves the water, she loves the Greek islands, so she travels there a lot, and this piece is inspired by those travels, um, and kind of by that history. But I think the title, I would be curious to hear more from her about it, and then um, maybe from people who are watching this, what would you retitle this piece, um, and why? Like, that might be a good way of starting a dialogue about yeah. these issues. And I would also encourage people to research appropriation, so appropriation is very common in contemporary art and in our culture. Um, when is it um, appropriation? What's the other word? Uh, appreciation, appreciation, right? So appropriation it, versus appreciation. Yeah, and what are the differences between the yeah. two ideas? Yeah. And 
the, the reason why this is one of my favorites is because I like the colors. Yeah, I like the, the very vivid reds and the blues and the greens. That's, that's one of the reasons why I did like this particular sculpture. Mm -hmm. So, um, and then all of the different things you would see. And sometimes when I'm looking at art, I look at it through a child's eyes. Mm -hmm. What would a child see? Would they I think a child would love this. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Would they immediately see the turtle? Would they yeah. see the fish? Would and they... the turtle's at their level, too. Yes. Yeah. Would they want to touch the turtle? Would yeah. they want to sit on the turtle? Because I can see a child just kind of yeah, popping their bummy. Yeah, <laughs> and just sitting on the turtle. So that's how I, how I look at it. But um, I think it's important um, to have your interpretation, but I also think it's important um, to research the artists what they thought when they were doing it. And sometimes artists, I know they create things that they had no idea it was just something that was inspired mm -hmm. internally. And they do pieces like this, so yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, I agree, and I, I really appreciate your perspective when you were during this, to think about the child, and to think about, man, kids love hearts, right? They love turtles, they love, they love you know, drawing fish. So I could see this as like a very um, fun and playful piece. Yeah. Um, and when we think about, you know, the neighborhood, there's lots of kids who live here. You know, there's kids, I think, who live across the street and right yeah, up the way right who saw us yeah. installing it. And I will say, the install, if you look over here, the power lines up here, this is installed with a forklift. And the forklift literally just, like, we kind of came up right here. And it just made it under the oh, lines. Yes, yeah. my um, colleague Isaac Duncan, who's another sculptor and he uh -huh. is also on the board, came down to install us. He came down from Chattanooga to help install because he has, like, forklift license he's insured you know all those important things and i was so grateful for his expertise because he was like it's fine it's all good it's gonna be great and just like snuck it in between these two trees and dropped it and then it then folds it to the concrete yeah any other thoughts about this Sanjay? thoughts about this i'm looking forward to hearing what uh people say about this one yeah me too yeah yeah me too and you know I would probably wear this green and mm -hmm. purple together. Mm -hmm. It's a cover block outfit. <laughs> so many different things you can see mm -hmm. in art that inspires. I can things. see this being fun to draw by kids too. Yeah, yeah, and like I could see kids having fun yeah. making up their own version of this. Like, what do you? What enjoy would you doing? say? Yeah, yeah. What would you say if you were a kid? Like, do you love going to the beach? If you do, would you include these different yeah. symbols? What's on the turtle's back? What would you stack on a turtle's back? Yeah. I like how they work. Ooh, me too. It could I be like Dr. Seuss book. Oh my God, by Tanja Murphy. <laughs> <laughs> what would you stack on a turtle's back? Oh, okay. yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. All right. Yeah. Nice alliteration. Okay, we're going to go to the next one. All right, let's go to the next one.